Hello everyone, in this segment we are going to see relational uh, integrity constant. So the constraints are very important part in relational model. The constraints, they are, the, they are some rules that will be enforced on the data columns of a table. So um, these are the condition that must hold valid for each relation state. Okay. So these uh, the constant are the main purpose of the constant is to limit the type of the data that can go into the table. So that will ensure the accuracy and the reliability of the data in the database. Now there are three main type of constraint. Um, we have key constraint, entity integrity constraint, and referential integrity constraint. Another implicit type of constraint is known as domain constraint okay domain constant means every value in a tuple must be from the uh, same domain of its attribute so let's first see the first constraint key constraints so before we see key constraints uh, we are going to know some terms uh, first we are going to see super key and then we are going to know key okay super key value of a relation and the key value of a relation so as we said earlier that uh, theoretically theoretically each of the relation uh, theoretically the relation is a set of tuples all right and each of the tuple is different okay each of the tuple is different um, no two tuple has to be a no two tuple can be same in a relation all right now super key of relation R um, is a set of attributes SK we can say we can represent super key like with the SK uh, super key of a relation uh, with the following condition super key is a set of attributes no two tuples in a valid relation state will have the same value for super key okay so for a valid relation if we have two different tuples the value of the super key has to be different all right all right so here we have an example of a relation or tables we have uh, the values of uh, here we have one two three four records of four different students okay now if we look at the tables we have the information of davidson um, dick davidson mike davidson barbara benson and uh chung cha kim so super key means is a set of attributes all right so set of attributes with the condition where no two tuple in a valid relation state will have the same value for the super key so we have a, a, for any two tuple okay the value of super key the same set of attribute has to be different all right now super key is a set of attributes so let's find out the super key of a table so as we know that uh, each of the record each of the record has to be unique okay so when we uh, consider the whole tuple each of the tuple has to be different okay each of the tuple has to be different so if we consider the set of attributes the all attributes set of all attributes then the value of all attributes has to be different for any two tuples okay so here uh, we are considering the set of all attributes f name l name id address phone and gpa so as all of the records at all of the records are different unique that means set of all attributes is a super key okay now consider for every two tuple the value of all attribute if you consider the value of all attribute they all are different okay all right now that's the set of all attributes now let's consider the subset okay there are a lot of combination of sub subset and now let's consider some subset and let's try to find out whether each of the set of attributes is a super key or not let's consider f name l name and id 
so if we consider f name l name id so looks like they are different so uh, the thing is that id for each uh, student is going to be different so um, at least the id will be different for each of the student so this one is a super key all right now let's consider uh, let's ask you a subset l name last name so looks like l name is not a super key because we can see that two different student can have the same last name okay so address l name that's a subset um probably these two student has the uh, are from the same home okay probably their brother or related so they have uh, the same l name last name and same address so obviously that's not a super key so if we consider this subset address and last name so we can find two records we can find multiple records okay more than one record where the values are same so that means that this set of attributes will not be able to identify each record uniquely okay now that set of attribute id address phone gpa uh, it's a super key for this table the idea is that id is different so when we have id in a set of attribute okay so id will be always different for any two records so this the value of this set of attributes will be unique so this set is also a super key all right now if we consider address what about them it's not a super key not a super key because you can see that two uh, different record can have same address all right so if we consider address and l name no so if we consider f name and address so this table doesn't have uh, the same record for f name and address but it it is possible okay two uh, student different student can have same first name and same address it is possible okay now if we consider like address and gpa okay so that's not super key that is also not a super key because two student can have same address and same gpa okay so this is possible that's what i'm saying same as if we consider like phone and address okay that's also not an sk not in super key because same reason so if they are from the same home they can have same phone number same address okay so this set of attribute is also not a super key so the set of uh, the super key means actually using the super key we can identify each of the record uniquely okay super key means a set of attribute that can uniquely identify each of the record now key of a relation is the minimal super key okay so super key can have uh, like uh, super key can be one attribute or uh, set of attribute okay but the minimal super key is known as the key of relation so formally a key uh, is a super key such as if we remove a attribute from the key uh, that will result in a set of attributes that's not a super key anymore okay so for example let's consider this set of attribute so we are considering a set of attribute f name id so let me ask you is that a super key that's a super key because we have actually here id we know that id is going to be unique for each of the student so 
the value of this uh, attribute the set of attribute will be unique for each student okay for every different student now um, from a set of attribute if we remove a attribute we have to see whether it's still a super key or not okay so let's see we delete f name okay now if you consider l name and id is it still a super key looks like it's still a super key so if you consider the set of attribute l name and id it will be still super key because we have id and id will be always different for each student now from a set of attribute from a super key if we remove a attribute and it's still a super key that means it's not a minimal super key all right let me say that again we have a set of uh, attribute which is a super key now if we remove a attribute from that but if it's a still super key that means it's not a minimal super key okay for example here we have a set of attributes f name l name and id if we delete a attribute like f name here but it's still a super key that means it's it's a super key but not minimal super key okay we can minimize it more now let's see uh, now let's consider this one let's delete l name okay if we delete l name it becomes id okay now looks like it's still uh, a super key okay it's still a super key if you consider only the id id for each of the student is different okay so that means it's still a super key okay if we delete l name it's still a super key that means it's not a it's also not minimal okay that means actually the l name part it's not actually important okay so only the id is important here actually in this in this example so here id it's a still a super key now here we have only one attribute so that means actually we cannot delete it anymore so it's a super key and it's a minimal super key all right so here id address phone gpa it's a super key but not minimal super key because you can delete address still super key we can delete phone still it will be a super key we can delete gpa still it's a super key but if we delete id here let's see uh, f name if we delete id all right it's not a super key anymore okay it's not even a super key okay we cannot actually uh, all right it's not even a super key okay so let's see we have a super key but if we can find a minimal super key all right that minimal super key is the key all right so um super key with one attribute if we find a super key that has only one attribute obviously that's the minimal super key because you cannot delete any attribute from that okay but a key can have also more than one attribute a key can be also a set of attributes so we can it can happen that we may need a set of attributes uh, where uh, where the set of attribute can be key okay say for example let's see another example say we have a car relation schema so we have a relation schema car the attributes are state name registration number uh, serial number make model and year okay now if we consider uh, each of those if we consider different set of attributes you can find like one key where state and registration number and another key serial number 
so uh, we can have a one key like using state and registration number like license number actually uh, like here say so this is the registration number something like that okay so uh, we know that each of the license plate of table has actually these two components the state name first then the the number okay now it can be like that something like that okay so or it can be also like that colorado say abc So the state name and the number all together says the registration number i mean the license plate number so if we delete the uh, state number then the registration number can be same for uh, two car okay if we delete uh, the registration number the state name can be same for two different car but all together they say the license plate number and they will be different for each car all right so one key one minimal super key can be the state name and the registration number all right and another key we can find the serial number so the serial number each car is different okay so if we consider only the serial number but we can identify each of the car only using the serial number all right so both are actually minimal super key for the car so from this uh, set of attribute we cannot delete any of the attribute because if we delete any of the attribute here it will not be a super key anymore all right so we have we have to keep both of them all together we can consider on, uh, also this this uh, only this attribute uniquely can identify each of the car all right so both are the minimal super keys of car okay now serial number make it's a super key but not a key why is that because if we delete make still it will be a super key so that's a super key not minimal super key okay and key means minimal super key all right so in general any key is a super key but not vice versa means you have a super key that doesn't have to be no uh, that uh, that may not be a key okay and any set of attributes that includes a key is a super key all right so for example your here serial number is a key so any super key that has a set of attributes and a key like serial number that means it's a super key and the minimal super key is the key of a car the key of a relation all right so a relation can have several key okay as we said here as example a car we can have multiple uh, minimal super key or multiple key now uh, if we have multiple uh, key they all are known as candidate key candidate key means we can use only one of them to identify each of the record but uh, in a formal definition of relation each relation will have only one primary key okay each relation will have only one primary key so we have multiple candidates key multiple candidate key we are going to choose only one of them to identify each of the record so the one we are choosing will be a primary key it's like for example like in a city you can have multiple candidate for a mayor okay you can have multiple candidate okay now based on them you are going to choose only one of them just choose one of them and that one is going to represent your city so for table also we can have multiple candidate key but only one of them we are going to choose only one of them to represent your table and to represent each of the record so that one is known as primary key okay 
so for example in uh, this curve we said that we have two key so both of them are candidate okay but we are going to choose only one of them either this one or this one so the primary key we are going to choose the primary key will be uh, underlined okay the primary key of the attribute will be underlined for example here we are choosing state and registration number together this set of attributes as a primary key okay so that's why we are underlying this now if you choose serial number as a primary key you are going to write that as a like state underline okay then all other attribute make model year So here it is saying that this is the car relation, uh, car relational schema where serial number is the primary key. And in this relational schema, state and registration number is the primary key. Always remember each relation will have only one primary key. Always one primary key. It's like every uh, country will have only one president. Each city will have only one mayor. You can have multiple candidate, okay? but you are going to choose only one of them always remember that each relation will have only one primary key all right the primary key value will be used to uniquely identify each tuple in a relation okay so uh, here uh, they both are candidate key you can choose only one of them okay whatever you will choose as your your primary key your database will know that this is the primary key and the database will is going to use that primary key to identify each tuple in the relation okay that provides the tuple identity okay and also it used to reference the tuple from other tuples okay we are going to say that give me the car who has this license give me the car who has this specific license all right that's how your database will identify each of the tuple uh uniquely all right now in general rule uh, what we can do if you have multiple candidates like uh, you may think that what you are going to choose just general rule is that you can choose the smallest size candidate key as a primary key so that will just make your database more efficient you can choose any one of them okay but uh, in general uh, if you can choose any one of them you can just choose the smallest size candidate key okay now that's an example of the car relation so you can see that we are choosing the state number and the registration number together as the primary key okay so in a relational database schema so so in a relational database schema uh, we are going to now talk about the database schema okay so for now we talked about relational schema relational schema means the schema of a relation means the description of a relation okay or table definition a relational schema means the definition of the table so far we talked about relational schema now we are going to talk about database schema relational database schema a relational database schema is a set of relation okay so a set uh, is of relational schema that belongs to the same database all right s is the name of the whole database schema and a database schema is a collection of multiple relation and all the relation is the part of the same database all right now let's see example of a relational schema okay we say that it's a schema diagram so why a schema diagram we know that diagram means actually a graphical representation 
okay a visual representation of something a diagram means a visual representation of something so a schema diagram is just a diagrammatic representation of relational schema so here we have uh, total six relation okay we can say it's a company relational database schema means the database name is company okay so database name is company means this is the name of our database and each database schema is a set of multiple relation okay we are saying set so the order of the relation doesn't matter here so the company is a database schema where company is a collection of set of six relation here so we have here employee table department department location project works on and dependent these six tables okay or six relation you can see that employee it's a relational schema these are the attribute of employee and ssn is the primary key department has the primary key d number department location has primary key d number and d location so always uh, be sure that here we have actually one primary key and the primary key is actually the set of attribute d number and d location so often we do the mistake that uh, we think that there are two primary keys it's not actually the case here we have one primary key but the primary key is a set of attributes d number and d location okay here the primary key is p number here the primary key is the set of attribute essn and pno I should say actually like that here we have primary key essn and dependent name okay so always remember each relation only has only one primary key and the primary key can be a set of attributes 